Hey guys, in today's video we got some more good news coming out of the Philippines. More exemptions of people being allowed into the Philippines. Stick around and find out. Hey guys, so back at you. Wanted to get this news out. It's kind of late uh, there or early morning there in the west um, afternoon here in the Philippines. Uh, but I wanted to uh, get this out right away. Now this actually came out late last night I believe. Uh, but just the article came out today, February 14th. But the Bureau of Immigration is to allow more foreigners into the Philippines. So let's go ahead and discuss that. Again, this article will be found in the comments section, not the description. Okay, so Bureau of Immigration will allow more foreigners to enter the Philippines starting Tuesday, February 16th. Uh, and those are going to be foreigners with valid working visas, student visas, special visa for employment generation, SVEG, and special investors resident visa, SIRV. Now, I believe you have to have these visas already in place, and uh, we'll, we'll get more into that in a second. Now, it will allow those unable to return due to the travel restrictions. However, these vis those visas that were issued after March 20th you would still need to present an exemption from the Department of Foreign Affairs upon entry. So you have to go over to the DFA and get an exemption um, granted. Now from my understanding is they haven't granted any yet. Uh, they're a bit behind. Um, so those, those aren't being handed out as of yet from my understanding. But uh, that's where you would get the exemption from. So uh, also holders of special resident retirees visa, SRRV, and the temporary visitor visa may be allowed to enter as long as they present an entry exemption document, again, from the DFA. Um, tourists may not be allowed into the country at this time. Uh, and when they say tourists, you would have to be, uh, the entry exemption document may be requested from the DFA's Philippine posts abroad subject to their assessment and approval. Uh, let's see, those who wish to enter the country under a tourist status must secure an entry visa first. So those actually fall under the Balikabayan privilege and it may be granted a visa-free entry. Balikabayan refers to the former Filipinos or his or her spouse and their children. Uh, only those traveling with the Filipino or former Filipino spouse and our nationals of visa-free countries entitled to the Balikabayan privilege. Now, if you're not traveling with your Filipino spouse or child, then you would have to secure an entry visa. So you, you can still come, but you have to get an entry visa. All right, now the way it works is uh, you will have to get a pre-booked accommodation for at least six nights in an accredited quarantine hotel or facility in, in the uh, Manila and what happens is, is I believe you're tested on day five if you are negative then you can go to your destination now depending on the local government there the LGU you can either finish off your 14-day quarantine there and they would include the five or six days that you already had or they may require you to do a full 14 days from that point or they may not even uh, ask you to quarantine so it depends on the LGU. I've been getting people from uh, leaving comments saying, oh, I didn't have to do any quarantine. Oh, I had to do another 14. Oh, they counted that for my 14. So it just depends on the local government. Um, so the local LGU. So let's see. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you an update. This is great news. Um, more things are opening you know, for people to come back which is fantastic. Tourists are not allowed yet. Just let me uh, make clear that clear of that because a lot of people leave in the comments, oh, okay, so uh, I can book my, play, my flight? No, no, you can't. Not if you're just a tourist. You, you have to fall under one of those uh, categories. Um, again, I, this, we're making steps in the right direction. I still believe that we might open this year. I really do. Uh, maybe September, October. A lot of people are still saying, no, there's no way. We're not gonna open until 2022. I'm still trying to be a little bit optimistic about the whole thing, not being 
pes pessimistic. So we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, but domestic tourism is making a, sh a push to open up too. And so we got things happening. Uh, we we've got things happening, vaccines rolling out, domestic tourism opening. Um, more and more foreigners are being allowed in for you know certain categories of foreigners. And so we are making steps in the right direction. Um, if I'm going to talk more about this and we can have more of a discussion uh, tonight in the Philippines at 10 p.m. my time, I will do a live stream. Feel free to uh, join me at Geo in the Philippines. 10 p.m. Philippines time, uh, Valentine's Day. There'll be morning for you guys out there in the West. And uh, we can talk more about uh, things happening here in the Philippines and any questions that you have. So I will see you guys then. Thank you so much. And uh, again, if you found this video useful, consider sharing it, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and hit that bell notification. That'll keep you updated every time I come out with a news update or a live stream or anything else. See you guys next time. Bye.